I would like to go over the assignment. This is what the page should look like when you initially load it in the browser. At the top, you will see some kind of caption, quote of the day, and that is just an, a heading level element. Next, you should see the quote. There are seven quotes, and they will be stored in an array and generated on the page using JavaScript, using firstchild.node value to write to the page. You will also see some form of the date. At minimum, you need the day. For example, the quote of the day for Saturday. Should you wish to put the date somewhere else, that's fine. I'm not that concerned with the layout as much as that you have at least the day of the week and the quote that corresponds to that day. So you will at minimum need two arrays. One array to store the seven quotes, the other array to store the seven days of the week. You will also display all of the quotes on the page. You will do that using JavaScript. You will do that by looping through the array. I am allowing you two different ways to accomplish this. You can accomplish it using the inner HTML property to write to the page in the for loop. You may also use the official document object model in the for loop, which involves creating elements and appending nodes. The latter is covered in chapter six. Writing the loops are covered earlier. So however you wish to display the quotes using a for loop, you may. There are two ways of writing. One is with inner HTML. One is by appending nodes, um, creating and appending nodes. The purpose for this is inner HTML allows us to create a BR element. Um, you can't do that with firstchild.node value. Therefore, in order to have a break after each quote so that they look decent, you will have to create that node and append it every time you loop through the array. And every array element will be um, a node that is being um, created and appended also. I do want the quotes to be on, stacked on top of each other. So whether if you want to use breaks, if you want to use a paragraph, if you want to use an unordered list, however you want to do it, it's up to you. However, um, you need the quote, you need the day of the week, and you need to loop through all of the quotes on the web page.